promiscuous people, okay? And if you don't know what promiscuous means, I'm pretty sure you guys all do, but promiscuous means that you get around, okay? That means you have a lot of intimacy. Let's put it like that. You have a lot of casual intimacy. You, you do a lot of one night stands, a lot of hookups, friends with benefits and all that good stuff, okay? That's what promiscuous means. Promiscuous girl, all right? Anyway, <laughs> sorry for that singing, y'all. But promiscu promiscuous people carry bad energy. Quick disclaimer before I go on. I'm not saying they are bad people at all. They are not bad people. Some of them are very good people. But I am saying uh, that they carry energy. They carry that energy with them, okay? And I'm going to go into it. This is Tarek Talks. You guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. People, look, whether you want to admit it or not, because I get to, every time I talk about topics like these, I get people that say, oh, I don't have a problem with it and stuff. Hey, look, that's cool, man. If you don't have a problem with it, that's completely fine. Then this video is not for you and you don't have to watch it. There are some people who do uh, can relate to what I'm saying, okay? And for those people who do say they don't have a problem with it, I could I could add this at the end of the sentence. You don't have a problem with it yet, <laughs> okay? You don't have a problem with it yet because at one point, I didn't either, okay? I was out here slanging my willy around, you know what I'm talking about? But people with people that are promiscuous that get around, that get around town, guys, they carry a bad energy about them. This is why many people have so-called baggage, right? We all hear about people that have baggage. And yes, when you say baggage, it is somewhat almost, almost exclusively geared towards women, right? Almost exclusively geared towards women. Like, like people be saying she has baggage. Okay. Where do you think that is from? And it's not only, only women. Okay. I'm not picking on y'all young ladies because I'm, I'm gonna get to my fellas here in a bit, but where do you think this baggage, what do you even think baggage comes from? That word itself baggage means you're carrying something. Is it not? If you're carrying heavy baggage, that means something is trailing. Something is 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 uh, putting a load on on your on your soul. Okay, so that's what baggage means, ladies. Let me tell you something. When you guys lay down with these with these men, and let's just be completely honest. If a young lady is on her hot girl summer vibe, if she if she's in her hot girl summer bag, she is not going to be dealing with guys that are necessarily uh, good boys, okay? These guys aren't necessarily reading Proverbs out of the Bible, okay? This is, not, this is not what these guys are doing. These guys are out here drinking, smoking big blunts, sniffing big lines, popping big pills, all of this kind of stuff, partying, okay? They're going from Sally, Stacy, Susie, Shaniqua, Maria, Fatih, Habiba, you know what I'm, Khadija, they're going, all, all of these chicks, and guess what, when you get to him, right, he has all of that energy, all of that energy from him being on that demon time, right, all that energy of him uh, being out here in these streets, smoking blunts, maybe even committing crimes, guess what, when he goes up in you, guess where all that energy is, is going to go, inside of inside of you right that's why a lot of young ladies they if they have hooked up a lot they are usually depressed okay they usually can't stay in stable relationships we see this all the time and if you want to disagree with me <laughs> you're you're you are foolish to disagree with what i'm saying all you have to do is take a look at your average family Take a look at the average family structure, which isn't even a family. It's usually, and I don't mean this in a harmful way, a single mother, okay? And probably in the past, she engaged in this harmful, in this hookup culture. All that energy is going to be inside of her, okay? All the, all the men she's dealt with, all those bad, abusive men, narcissistic, we all love that word. We all love throwing that word around, narcissistic. 
all that energy is going to be inside of her and it's going to show it's going to show in her physically it's going to show in her for shit show mentally and attitude okay that's why a lot of these young ladies they age so quickly they're they they just their youth is very fleeting they don't age very gracefully and one big part part of it is because they were living that life they were living that hookup promiscuous party girl hot girl summer vibe lifestyle okay and it's the it's the harsh truth i know a lot of chicks are rolling their eyes and they're like f you it's okay baby go ahead live your life live your best life matter of fact live your best life because like i say in all of my other videos i'm just the arab and i just make youtube videos that's all i do fellas same applies to you please do not think you are exempt please do not think you are beyond this because these red pill channels and I hate when I hate when I get called that because I'm not that if you listen to my to, to what I'm saying I really go I'm not I'm against a lot of what they say right like a lot of that slandering just making it seem like like females are just the ones doing everything effed up right and yes they do have their their f ups the young ladies if y'all are watching this don't get it twisted I'm gonna still talk about the BS that y'all do sometimes right but they make it seem like men are just immune. Fellas, you guys, we are not immune to this. Guess what? When you hook up with Lil Sally, right? You know the one that's tatted up. You know the one that smokes blunts. You know the one that is currently being intimate. And I'm, I'm using that word loosely because I can't use the other word. The one that's, that's getting piped by three other guys while she's talking to you. Okay, while while you're engaging in intimacy with her as well, right? Guess what? When you put your pipe in, you think you're just exempt. You th you think you think, "Oh, I'm I'm a big player, right? I'm just this big hot shot. <clears throat> I'm an alpha." You think you think energy don't go into men too? You think you going inside of another human being. You think you're going to come out scot free? Come on, fellas. Let's 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 get some common sense here. Let's let's be rational. This is why a lot of men and even these red pill red pillars, they be claiming that oh I was I wasn't affected by hookup culture. But you see, every single video is talking about how chicks do this and how chicks do that. Guess why? Because they got stung that bad energy that that bad they they dealt with a young lady that was in that promiscuous lifestyle as well they dealt with with a young lady that with multiple with multiple young ladies with multiple energies they dealt with multiple energies and now they're hurt and it's okay bro like it's a we all got hurt in the past if it didn't affect men let me tell you something if being promiscuous didn't affect men then men would not even give a crap if a chick broke up with them or if a chick did them dirty, right? We would just be completely emotionless, right? Completely alpha. Will we not? But we fit, we we get hurt. Of course, don't dwell on it, right? Keep doing what you do. Keep improving your life. Don't just sit on a couch drinking yourself to an oblivion, okay? I'm not saying that. But that goes to show you that that energy was uh gone gone into them too. Now there's arguments that it doesn't really affect us as much. And I can kind of agree with that. I can kind of agree with that because men, we can we can be alone for a little bit, right? We can be alone for a little bit and we can kind of weather the storm, okay? We, we hit the gym, we take all that pain out and we do something constructive with it, like going to the gym or perfecting our passion. But for you to just think that when you mess with these young ladies that do all this that are on their demon time, so to speak, and you think you're gonna come out scot-free, it's just extremely foolish. You're gonna end up hurting yourself. Yes, the promiscuous, the, that lifestyle has its moments. It is fun. Trust and believe you are going to get affected by it too as a man. We are magnetic. We are magnetic beings, okay? And if you're into the whole spirituality and stuff too, of course, people carry energy with them this is no this 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 is no like mystery it's nothing new 
We all carry energies with us. Hell, I'll go even a step further. You can talk to, you don't even, let me tell y'all why, why, what I'm saying is true. Everyone has gone through this. You talk to somebody, right? Not even being intimate. You talk to someone and their energy is jacked up. They have a very unsavory disposition. They have a very uh, unfriendly, very mean energy, very mean aura about them. You feel it. You feel it deep down in your gut. It's called intuition. And you didn't, you weren't even intimate with that person. All you did was just be face to face and talk with them. So fellas, imagine you going inside of a chick that has a whole bunch of problems that dealt with, and this young lady done dealt with felons. This young lady done dealt with guys that were scumbags, right? This young lady dealt with guys that, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect, right? But it is what it is. Let's just be honest. She dealt with multiple of these guys, multiple, multiple. I'm talking in the high 20, 30, 40, 50 body count, 50 plus body count. You would think those energies of those past guys is not going to affect you. You have to be out of your ever loving mind. This is why, and I'm, and look, if, if my guys, if, if you guys, the fellas that dealt with this type of lifestyle, you can relate to this. This is why some ladies that you deal with, after you deal with them, when they leave, you just feel drained, bro. Your energy just feels drained. You go to work kind of depressed and you just thinking to yourself, why the hell is my energy so drained right now? Even some young ladies, even, even the young ladies, bro. Let me go back to talk, talking to my young ladies. Even, my, even young ladies, young ladies, when you deal with these guys that are uh, in their demon time bag, right? Shout out Dewan, right? <laughs> That's my homeboy, Dewan. He, he be using that demon time. It, you know, they're in their demon time bag. When you mess with these guys and, and you, you leave his crib, why do you think you feel so jacked up? Why do you think you feel so bad? Why do you think your energy feels so drained? Because doing that type of lifestyle, it is going to catch up with you. It is going to weigh down on your soul. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna weigh down on, on your spirit. Okay, it be you you're just dealing with way too many energies. You're carrying way too many. And I don't want to get biblical. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even Christian, right? But in the Bible, it does mention soul ties. I'm not. Let me reiterate this, guys, before you come on here to turn your life over to Jesus and stuff. Much love to all my Christians. Big ups to any religion you are, actually. But I'm just using this as an example because it is it is true. Soul ties are basically when people are intimate. You don't even have to be intimate, right, according to the Bible. It could have just been you just taught being close to somebody. But for the most part, it is intimacy, right? It is intimacy. When you are intimate, part of that person's soul is going to be tied to you. And if you are engaging in that promiscuous culture, more times than not, the people that you deal with are not positive. Their soul is dirty. Okay, not saying that I'm perfect. Lord knows I got my flaws, but their soul has been stained. They might not be bad people personally, but they have a lot of bad energy about them, okay? Or the, the people and that, that energy is gonna, st is gonna stay with you forever. That energy, whether you know it or not. That's why it bothers me when these channels make hooking up, they make it seem like a small, you know, like a small thing. They, they make it seem like, oh, it's just like a walk in the park if you hook up. No, bro, there's, there's, there's things that you need to know. Okay, there are things, there are consequences. Everything you do has a freaking consequence. And hooking up is for show one of them, for shit show one of them. So all these fake players and shit online that, that be telling you just to hook up all willy nilly, do it at your own risk, bro. Do it at your own risk. Because believe you me, you are not going to come out without a scar. Okay, you're not going to come out without a scar. And that because there is no way in hell that you going up inside another person, another, you're going inside of another human being and you think part of their energy is not get coming into you. 
and this is bad. This is this is this is kind of bad. But the more effed up their energy is, <laughs> the more you're gonna feel it. The more it's gonna affect you. The the more effed up their energy is, right? Meaning, the more they done did some dirt back in their day. The more they were promiscuous, right? The more they would open their legs to everybody. The more hard drugs they did. The more narcissistic and whatever they are, bipolar they are the more it's going to affect you. Do it at your own risk, ladies and gentlemen, right? That's all it is. Be responsible with it and just know what you're getting yourself into, all right? Anyway, with that being said, hope this helped. Peace.